you doing? It's Michelle with The Singing Baker. Today I thought I'd make you some nice chicken wings. We're going to be uh, baking them up in the oven and then I'm going to be basically flavoring it with a nice honey mustard sauce that we make with a mixture of uh, honey, some mustard, some blonde ale, and then a little bit of black pepper at the end. So I hope you enjoy it and we're going to get started now. So items that you'll need today are first about three pounds of party wings. So you want a mixture of wings and drumettes. And then you'll need a little bit of salt, some extra virgin olive oil, a little bit of flour. And that is for the baking of the wings. And then we're going to move on to our sauce. While the wings are baking in the oven, we're going to get our sauce together on the stove. For the sauce, we're going to be needing some honey, some hot sauce some blonde ale and you can use any kind that you like i happen to be using uh, this one today it's big wave golden ale and then we're going to thicken up the sauce with a little bit of water and cornstarch and then we're going to finish it off with a little bit of black pepper and then at the very end we'll sprinkle it with a little bit of celery leaves so let's get started all right so i have my oven preheated to 425 degrees fahrenheit and then I have placed my chicken wing and drumettes inside this large bowl. I'm going to go ahead and start first by seasoning the chicken up with some salt. Sprinkle them all over. And then I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil in. And I'm going to just give that a good stir. of flour. The flour will give a nice crispy texture to the outside of your chicken wings. So you're just going to stir that up. Make sure that the oil and the flour and the salt is incorporated throughout all of the wings here. And once we do that, we are going to transfer it to a baking sheet that I have here. I have lined my baking sheet with parchment paper. You can use foil, um, but you run the risk a little bit of them all sticking uh, while they bake, and the parchment paper helps to prevent that. Okay, so I'm ready to transfer now. Okay. So you just want to put them out on an even layer on your parchment paper. We're basically going to bake these in the oven for maybe 25 to 30 minutes. And then at that point, I'm going to go into the oven and turn all of our chicken wing and drumettes here. And then it'll cook for another 25 to 30 minutes until it's no longer pink inside. So you do want to check the doneness of your chicken before you take it out. And then while they are baking, we're going to get started on our sauce. I hope you've been enjoying the recipes that I've been putting on the uh, channel. If you have, please give me a like on the ones that you enjoy. And please subscribe and tell your friends to subscribe so they can get the recipes as well. I'm almost done here. This honey mustard sauce is a nice glaze. Uh, we also put hot sauce in it to give a little bit of a kick, a little bit of that heat that you want. Okay, so we're going to get those off into the oven. Okay, so my chicken wings are about halfway done. I've just turned all of them in the oven, so they've been in there roughly a half an hour. I'm going to get started on my sauce now. So I just have a small pot here on the stove and I'm going to start adding some ingredients in here and then we're going to bring it up to the heat. More like a medium heat level. So my first ingredient I'm going to add in here is the honey. 
and then I will add in the Dijon mustard next. And a little bit of the hot sauce. So I'm going to take these ingredients and I'm going to whisk it into this pot here. Bring it up to the heat. This is going to be our sauce. And in a few minutes, I'm going to add in a little bit of the blonde ale. I'm actually adding in about eight ounces. So two thirds of the bottle of beer. Just gonna let that heat up here. Okay. So then I'm just gonna add my uh, ale. So about two thirds of the bottle, about eight ounces worth. I'm gonna slowly whisk this in. A little bit more. Okay, that's good. So we want to bring this up to a simmer on the stove. I'm just going to let that sit and continue to simmer a little bit for maybe about five to seven minutes. And then I'm going to thicken it up in a few minutes with some cornstarch and water. So it's approximately two tablespoons of cornstarch and then mixed with one tablespoon of water. And then that is really good for thickening up your sauce. So I will put that in just a couple minutes. I'm going to let this cook for about um, five to seven minutes or so. Okay, adding in my cornstarch and water mixture. And if we let this sit, it will really start to thicken up on us. Get nice and thick, and all the flavors will marinate together. Okay, the sauce has been cooking for about seven, eight minutes, and as you can see, it's really thickened up here. You can really smell the um, the ale. You can smell the honey mustard, and then there's a little bit of heat in there from that hot sauce. I'm just going to finish it off now with a little bit of black pepper. And then our sauce is good to go. And our chicken is almost ready. So when the chicken comes out, I'm going to basically pour the sauce all over the chicken. And then we can eat up. Okay, so we are all done. The uh, chicken has been in the oven for about an hour. You want to cook it for between 15 minutes, 50 minutes and an hour, um, just until it gets nice and crispy. Um, I don't know if you can see these well, but they're nice and golden and crispy there. So now I'm going to just pour off our delicious sauce that we made earlier and pour it all over our wings and then I'm going to just toss it around. I also at the very last few minutes while the chicken was finishing off I took some celery and I just took the leaves from the celery stalks and I just chopped them up a little bit and we'll just uh, sprinkle that over chicken at the very end. It smells really good in here with this sauce and the chicken. Okay, so just mix it together in the pan and then you can transfer it to your dish. So make sure to give me a like if you enjoyed this video. And let me know in the comments which uh, recipes you've enjoyed. Oh, look at that. Okay. I'm going to transfer this to 
my plate now for serving. You just stack it up really nicely, all different directions to just make it look really pretty. 